It's like, girl, first of all, you're you're EJ Johnson size. You're you're a girl. You're you're seven two. So why are you messing with these four foot women like that? Getting so aggressive with them, like Shaquille O'Neal. Relax, please, Shaq. Relax, Shaq. For real. Love, let's be clear, I ain't never took a loss Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost Still independent, still my own boss Still got bad bitches coming up they draws Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito Luchy flaming hot like a motherfucking Cheeto This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto Slut the nigga out, treat him like a free code Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangsta Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say thank you What's ya. up, Luchy gang? It's your girl, Luchy V And welcome back to my channel I'm back with another video and today i'm going to be recapping bad versus wow episode nine the smalls versus the talls yeah they they always got a crazy little theme i know but if you would like to know how i felt about this episode then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell ding 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 and let's get it okay you guys i am here to recap another episode of bad versus wow this is episode nine and i saw that baddies caribbean is starting next week so i'm hoping this is the last episode of bad versus wow y'all because I, I, I don't want to recap this no more no more i'm not gonna hold you but i do remember they had a rematch episode between the baddies and jocelyn cabaret and we have not saw that we have not saw that so I don't know, it might be one more episode, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see. But this episode was episode nine, and we had the Smalls versus the Talls, okay? On Team Bad, which was the Smalls team. The captain was Miss Juicy Baby from Little Women Atlanta. Abira, a.k.a. Lil Vicious, also from Little Women Atlanta. Brichelle, I believe she was on the Little Women Dallas. I, now, I've... If y'all don't know, y'all better look up Miss Brochelle. She she gets down. Brochelle was not. She is not scared to get active, even even with a a a a, a, a tall. Okay, Brochelle do not play. Um, Lil Christy Rock. I'm not sure what season of Little Women she's from. Um, then we have Lil Boss. I remember. I believe she is from Little Women LA. And then Tamara or Tamara. I'm I'm. I don't really remember how to say her name, but I remember. I think she was on the season of Little Women Atlanta before. She's really popular on Instagram and going viral for her dancing and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure you guys have saw her before. Then we have Team Wow, which is the Talls. We have the Captain Ann Moore. You guys know Ann Moore from Baddies. Believable from Real Chance of Love. Smiles from Real Chance of Love. Kay Capri from Jocelyn's Cabaret. Neandra Brooks. I'm not sure who she was, who she is. I heard Nick Cannon say that she's a dancer. So there we go and then we have wop wop who is also from one more chance did i say real chance of love a second ago i meant one more chance if i did say that but yeah so y'all got y'all know how it starts off it starts off with them separated backstage okay and i already knew that this was going to go to like a rude place when it came to the little women because Wap Wap was like, what? That's a disability? Ooh, ooh. And then K Capri's all like, yeah, they, they get the uh park in the handicap spot and blah, 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 like that. Like, first of all, what? You didn't know that that was a disability? Don't make me mad already at the beginning of the episode, okay? Like, they were talking about the little women as if, like, they were so foreign, like, like they've never heard of or saw little women before or something like I, I was so confused the way they was talking about them like they were like foreign unidentified objects or something like I, I what this episode was rubbing me the wrong way um so then we have performance by Lil Duval he had living my best life y'all know that song yeah it was a cool performance I guess like you know what I'm saying that song of course is like really old but I mean, it's a feel good song. It, it gets you, it gets you in the mood. It, it does what it needs to do. Okay, so then the teams come out. Miss Juicy introduces everyone, y'all. And when it gets to the little Christy Rock lady, she had like walked up and did like a little move, and then when she tried to walk backwards, she tried to walk backwards, and it looked like she was doing it. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. And then she just tumbled to the floor. Like, 
I, I was trying to hold in the laugh. <laughs> but I fell out, okay? So then we get the tall team coming out, y'all. And the tall team was so disrespectful to me. And Moore walked right out and got on her knees in front of them, walk, walk, walking out like, oh, you guys are so cute. You're so cute. Like they some little toddlers or something. She picks up one of them. Which one did she pick up? Did I put on there which one she picked up? No, I didn't. But she picked up one of them like they was like a little like, why are you guys not treating them like they're normal adult women? You wouldn't go out there and just do that to another tall girl. So why was you playing in their face like that? I did not like that, y'all. Like like and you could tell that the little women were getting they was trying to be like laugh it off but they was kind of like i know like shawty like what's your own like you know so the game one was called dance battle basically whoever does the dance style or the dance that nick cannon calls out the best wins you know the round or whatever now this game was actually pretty cute i, I did actually enjoy this game I'm not going to lie, though. The, the Tall's thought they had it because they had legs on them. The Tall's thought they was going to eat the Smalls up. But, baby, the Smalls took it. Okay, the Smalls was eating up every dance. I think it was only, like, one time that the Tall's kind of was eating, and it was when the girl, Neandria, or whatever her name is, that's the dancer came up. But Abira ate. Um, Tamara or Tamara ate, like, eh. The small, all the smalls ate for real, except for Miss Juicy Baby, because Miss Juicy Baby cannot dance. Okay, so and it was really annoying because K Capri was like really taking everything so serious, like she was just being so aggressive and just like doing the most this whole entire episode. She's so cringy. She's so big, goofy, and ghetto. Like I, I just, I just could not. I could not take her this this whole episode like ew um so game number two was called pop that thing so basically they had a bunch of balloons on the floor and you had to use your bottom to pop the balloons now this game was very chaotic it, it was just all over the place people was cheating using their hands like it was really hard to even i i i, I felt like this game was just not meant for this show like this would look like something my nephew and his friends would want to play or something but um they, they was just crawling all over the floor looking like some loose gerbils or guinea pigs like you y'all ever saw the nutty professor movie when all them little hamsters got loose because his stomach was big or his booty was big or something he accidentally hit the button and opened the cage and let all the little hamsters out that's what it was looking like like the tiles and the smalls i'm not just talking about the smalls like they all was looking like loose hamsters okay baby um so the smalls ended up winning again big ant had to literally come and tell k capri like to chill out because she was getting so aggressive with the little women grabbing them talking about she finna put them in a chokehold also like she was doing the most like girl first of all you're you're ej johnson size you're you're a girl you're you're seven two so why are you messing with these four foot women like that? Getting so aggressive with them like Shaquille O'Neal. Relax, please, Shaq. Relax, Shaq. For real. Like she was doing the most. Um, so game number three was called Balls to the Walls. It was basically like a human version of the Hungry Hungry Hippo game. They had them like on their stomach on some little like scooter things. And they had some hamsters. I mean... <laughs> What, wait, are those what those called? Hamsters? What's they called, y'all? Hampers, right? Clothing hampers? Is that what? <laughs> I didn't call them hamsters. Now I didn't got confused, y'all. Okay, but they had them with the clothes hamper things on their stomach, basically trying to like catch the balls in them. This game also, it, 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 it was just, it was just weird. It looked uncomfortable for them. It was giving backyard again. Team Wild well won that one. It, it, I don't feel like that was a fair game for the Smalls. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't. Okay. So then we have a bonus round. The stand on business game. Y'all know how I feel about the stand on business game. I cannot stand it. I cannot stand the stand on business game, baby. Okay. It's, it's just no point. You just getting up there saying random stuff. But what I will say is. 
this round the talls were getting so disrespectful to the little little women like they were trying to make all these very rude jokes about their size and height and abira was chewing them i was so glad abira was eating them like i really do like abira like me and her are actually cool like abira is really funny she know how to rap all that but they was trying to eat and abira chewed the whole team every little joke they had abira chewed them up chewed them do you hear me like they were so rude on the standing no business like i am more had like put her arm on top of tamara or tamara's head and she was like nah don't put your hand on my head like they were doing the most like they were doing the most they were definitely some sore losers team bad the smalls they ended up winning that round and the overall show congratulations to them i was so glad they won the top team they were my final thoughts on this episode baby i i don't like that they were disrespecting them like that the small the the little women were getting so disrespected i did not like it i don't like when people treat little people like they're like circus acts or something or like a joke because they are humans just like us like these are grown women just like you and me the only difference is they are a little shorter like i just felt like they were brought there to be made a joke and be made fun of and i was so glad that they ate them up on this okay um we get another performance by Lil duval abira was twerking down eating it up the episode was I, I I don't like this show, y'all. <laughs> I just don't like this show. Like, Kay Capri, I do not want to see her on another show ever again. Like, cringy. Cringy. Okay? And, and I think that's all I have to say about this episode, you guys. I am going to review Playboys, the New Orleans, on Now This TV. I, I see all you guys' comments and DMs asking if I will be reviewing it, and I will, okay? I'm going to try to make time to watch it tonight so I could review it tomorrow early in the daytime, and I could get it out, like, at some point tomorrow night. My friend is on the show. If you've already watched the episode, my friend is King October. I love him down. He's, I hope they let him showcase his talent on this show. Cause he is like, y'all, he can dance down. Like he is an amazing dancer. Like all that little hip roll. He eats. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and y'all already know, comment down below any suggestions on shows you want me to review and I love you guys.